Hello everyone, Vanguard of Valor here, and welcome back to another episode of Invisible Ink. So, we now have a pretty big goal in mind. We only have 17 hours left before whatever is happening in the story comes to a close. But I think our next target is going to be the Santa Rosa server farm. This is going to allow us to acquire more technology, but unfortunately we probably won't be able to buy much of it because we have very few credits on hand. As such, we're going to sell these charge packs before we go. Not that I think they're going to be worth a whole lot to us. But that extra 200 might make the difference between us being able to buy new cool hacking solutions and us not being able to. So let's log out here. No, not log out. Go back to mission selection. And we're going to take on the Santa Rosa server farm mission. Oh boy. Heavily guarded. Here goes nothing. So... Let's start this mission and see what happens. I could be wrong as well. We may not actually have to buy our mission, our, our upgrades from the server farm, but I think you do. All right, here we are to start with. Only one exit from this room, so we might as well send Banks to go investigate, and we'll get Deckard to grab us the power from the machine because he's good at that. Four power is a good start. What do you see through the doorway? Not much, but there's immediately a guard out here, so we're going to be limited to begin with. Okay. Let's pop the door open. Peek again. Still nothing in line of sight. The guard is over here from the looks of it, though. Okay, well, let's hack this immediately. We may as well. And we're going to have to hang out here for a minute and see if this guy moves, because it doesn't do us any good to rush out immediately into enemy line of sight guards on the other side of this doorway from the sounds of it as well. That guard has no intention of moving, which is going to be a problem. Can I rush that far? Yes. So, we're going to start by using our invisibility boost. Activate cloaking rig. There we go. Let's get right over next to this guy. Hello there, good sir. I'm afraid you have got yourself in a bit of a pickle, haven't you? There we go. Knock him out of the picture. Let's loot from him. 210 credits. Nice reward there. Yeah, we don't want the pass cards. We don't need them. Alright, we're going to come over here and grab more power. This will set us back up to 17. Might not be worth getting this one yet, but we're going to hack this stuff, so we might as well. Hack the nanofabricator. Hope for good luck here hacking the demon. New demons installed. Huh. I don't know what that one does. There's still a scanner somewhere on this map that we're going to want to find. This will get us another 4 power. What's in here? Ooh, more safes? This actually looks like a fairly interesting room. A lot of servers in there. That might be where we need to go. There is another demon there, so I'm guessing that uh, demon we activated planted a bunch more on the map. So that's not great for us. That's going to really make things a bit trickier to get around to. Can't move this guy at all? Alright, fair enough. And we'll end our turn here. Let's see how this goes now that there's demons everywhere. Alright, we should be visible again this turn. Yep. Okay. Well, we've taken a peek through there. We need to take a look at a bunch of these rooms. Just to make sure we can try and find that scanner as quickly as possible. There's a camera and there's the exit. So that's good to know. There's another doorway over here. So that's all well and good. We want to make sure we check what's in the safe here. There's another doorway there as well. 400 credits. We want to always be stealing things with Banks now, because Banks has the anarchy points to steal more. Anything in the nanofabricator? They got a gun. Predictive brawling again, which we can't use. A stim pack. Ooh. Refreshes an agent's attack and restores 8 AP. That sounds like a really nice ability. It's a thousand, though. Hmm. I don't know about that one. It's cool, but it's real expensive. We can't afford it anyway. If we can get a bit more money here, we might be able to look into it in the future, though. Let's take a peek over here, and we will end our turn there for now. This guard gets one tick down on his activity. I probably should have sat on him this turn, but we'll deal with that. No, not you, Banks. I tried to click here on Deckard, and it just didn't. Alright, Deckard, you're going to come look at these doors then. Okie doke. Well, we found the server farm, I think. This room looks important. I'm guessing this just goes into the same room, so that's not going to help us. Okay then, well, let's try and get these guys a little bit closer together. 
There we go. Drop the body there. Keep laying on him. We need to get in here, but we can't get in there with the amount of actions we had left. Banks would have been able to do it, but Banks' weapon is on recharge anyway, so it wouldn't have helped us. So I guess we just wait a turn, then go in there. Scanner might find us this turn, though. Ooh, guard may have just left. That could be a problem. I, he don't, I can't tell for sure. We open the door. Is the guard still there? No, the guard is gone. Okay, well then. Everything has demons. Two power drained by the demon. That one's not so bad. Especially because there's two more computers here that'll give us more. There's a safe in this side room, though, so we'll hack that. That's something Banks can go rob next turn. Banks is going to bring this body with her. Right over to here. Then open the door. Or peek first, I guess. Not much in there. Open the door. And I'm going to sit there so we don't lose time on the guard here. Deckard is going to get ready with a melee reaction, so if a guy comes in here, we will knock him out no problem, and we end our turn, I think. Oh, he didn't quite get into range. Alright, guards are activating additional cameras, and the scanning device did locate us, unfortunately. Alright. Camera drone's on the way here. That camera's turning active. That one's the one by the exit, so we're going to need to turn that one off. It's expensive, but we need it. Now you come in here. Steal the safe. There's another 170 credits. We'll take it. Now, you want to run around this way, Deckard. Knock this guy unconscious. That gives you a bunch of extra actions. We're going to drag your body over here into the corner. There we go. And that is going to drop him there. Now, if I can send... Yes, I can. Good. We're going to send you over to here, Deckard, I think. You'll steal data from this console for us to get us some extra power. Five more power is good. Then we send Banks in to stand on this guard. And you're going to steal from him. Get his money. There you go. And inject him with a paralyzer dose. Because there's going to be another guard coming in here, so we need to be careful. I think we might have one turn, unless it's the camera drone. Yeah, we had at least one turn, so that was good. So what we're going to do is next, we move over to here. Steal more power. We find an automated security program still running. Let's try and hack the program. Well, the tracker's increased by two. We botched the hack. So much for having a lot of security skill. That's really lame. We didn't even get any power out of it. Huh, that, that really sucked. Alright, let's come over here and see what we can get from this console. Yeah, you have to buy things. I thought so. So we can buy more software for Incognita, but uh, it does cost us money to do. Thankfully, we have a good amount of it now. Hunter kills demons for 5 power. That sounds really useful. It's expensive, though. Demon Sniffer reveals hidden demons. That's a weird one. Leash, control drones for an extra turn. Dagger, break three firewalls for one power on a five turn cooldown. That sounds real nice. Lockpick 1.0 we already have. Parasite 2.0. Huh. So that's a slower burn, but it takes out two firewalls at once. Data blast, break one firewall on all devices within four tiles. I'm thinking Dagger and Hunter here are real nice. Hunter is expensive, but lets us knock out nasty problems. And Dagger here lets us uh, get through firewalls a little bit cheaper. So we'll buy this. We purchased a program to be used by Incognita. There we go. And we'll also grab Hunter. So now we can get rid of demons on things that are really important. And I think that's what we'll leave it with. All right. Next, I will send you over to... Here's what we do. Now we need to drag this guy. I don't know if this is going to work. Drag this guy to here. Drop the body. Move back to here. We send Deckard over to stand on the body. There we go. And we get you to peek through the door. Drone doesn't seem like he's interested, but we're going to set you on a melee reaction in case somebody comes in through here looking for us. Because the scanner found us earlier, and we never found where the scanner was. Alarm increase did go up a stage. Can I EMP this guy from here? 
I don't think so. No, he's out of range. If we open this door instead... The robot did notice that, which is not what I was hoping for. Oh, it moved. Okay, it's, it wasn't there anyway. We can EMP it here. That's perfect. It's only going to go off at the end of the turn, though, so we're just going to have to sit tight now for now, I think. There we go. Robot's down. Alarm level's up to two, though, which means all firewalls are stronger, and the scanning amp found us again, so we're going to need to keep moving here. Let's go check around this wall with Banks. Banks found a console, but also a detection area, which is not good. Now, Banks does have use of her stunner. It's a camera. Okay, that's fine. We hack the camera out of here. Now, we have another way to get more power, which is good. We have people coming to get us, though, which is not. Let's drag the body around the corner. Drop the body, close the door. We can use the hunter ability to kill the demons on these safes, but if we do that, it's going to still mean that we have to spend a ton of power to get in there. Or we can use one use of the dagger, slice our way in, but then trigger the demons. I don't know. This is definitely a predicament here. Definitely a predicament. Power, power consumption is a real problem. Let's zap this one. Four power drained by demon. Well, that's annoying, but not the end of the world. All right. We can't use that one right now. Okay, so we need to get some power. Thankfully, it seems like there's a bunch of uh, power in this room that I'll be able to get later. Let's send Banks up a little bit and get them ready with an overwatch, and we will end turn there. Guard's coming, and he stops right in the middle of the room, which is inconvenient, but I can send Banks around behind him. Looks like there's another camera in that room, but thankfully it doesn't look like it can see us. So if I move you right around to here, Banks, you can knock this guy out. Oh, he's armored. Oh, wow. Okay, we'll just loot him then. Steal the money out of his pocket. There we go. Take the money out of the safe he's guarding. There we go. Steal his corporate intelligence. He still doesn't notice us, so that's fine. Him being him being uh, armored is a problem, though. We don't really have any way of dealing with armored guards yet. I want to send Deckard over to here, but that uses all of his AP to get over there. And I can't really afford to move very much because this sight line is getting pretty close. I can check out this doorway though and then go back, so we're going to do that. I'm going to check this door quickly. So we want to find that scanner if we can. But I don't think it's anywhere near here. Ah, oh, there's a camera there. Okay, we're going to need to hack this now. Which is unfortunate because we don't really have a way to. So let's just close that door again and hope the camera didn't notice anything suspicious. And we'll send over to here. Now we'll pick up this body, move it to the corner if we can. We can't. We'll hide by the doorway then so we're a little bit less out of less in the line of sight and we'll end our turn there, I think. If this guard comes forward to investigate this door, we'll know we're in trouble. Hey, you okay? What Oh, he saw the broken drone. I didn't even think about that. Okay. Well, we might be in a bit of a pickle then. Let's come look over here. I still can't see whatever's causing this detection. Still can't see it. It's a camera. Alright, they found us with this camera, unfortunately. We can turn it off, but they did spot us, so they're probably going to come gunning for us. Let's take a peek through here. Another camera. Well, we can't go through there yet. We don't have any power. This guard is really giving us a hard time right now, and he's going to give more problems in a second when he comes around the corner and we can't deal with him. Let's end the turn. Does he go back now to investigate the camera? No. That guy comes around the corner. And throws a grenade immediately? That's weird. Unfortunately, this guard is probably also armored. No, he isn't. We can take him out. Okay, well, let's take this guard down then. I don't know why he threw a grenade there. I guess he just figured there was somebody there. 
take the 192 credits. So now what we do is we use our four turns of invisibility here with Deckard to get out of the way. Activate the modded cloaking rig, and we can run all the way back over here, <coughs> and he can't do anything about it. So we can get some power here while we go, because we're going to need some. Now hopefully this guy doesn't turn around, because there's a bunch of stuff over here to investigate. So I'm just going to stick Deckard here in some cover, and hopefully nothing bad happens. Now, there's a lot of stuff in here we need to hack, and a lot of it is really strong. Because, like, we can't go through here with three cameras watching this area, because we have to also be able to come back later, and that's just not going to happen with this. We could just bail on this area. It might not be worth all this. Especially if there's nothing in these rooms anyway. But we have one turn of invisibility to go through and check, and then we can come back out if we need to. We may need that invisibility to get out of here alive, though. On the plus side, this door leads back where we need to go. But they're going to be calling in more guards in a second, so we'll see what happens. Oh, I should have moved with, uh, with Banks. That was dumb. Alright, there's an extra guard patrol that came into the building, and they scanning amped us. Lovely. Okay, well then, let's go grab some more power and get out of here in a hurry. Grab the power from the console here. There we go. That's that. We can use Dagger again in one turn. I'd love to hack some of these devices, but I don't know if it's worth it right now. And like, I'd love to get the safe too, but again, I'm not sure if it's actually beneficial to us to do that. Okay, we move you over to here, Deckard. If only there weren't the two overlapping cameras in there. We could get through here without using the invisibility. But I think the invisibility is the only way for us to really check what's in these rooms. Use the invisibility. You're going to have to come through to here. Open this door. There's the scanner. You jerk. Alright, well I can hack this thing, but it doesn't actually help us much anymore. We're going to do it anyway, just to make sure the scanner can't chase us. What's in here? There's a safe in here. It's guarded, though. Break it through anyway. All firewalls raised by the demon. Lovely. Unfortunately, I don't even know if that was worth it for me, because if I come through here... I'm not going to have enough turns to get all the way back out again. So that was probably a very silly decision I just made. Because I can't quite get back out again now. I have to stop in the middle of the room, and when I become visible again, they're going to get me. So, that was... Some serious greed right there. Thankfully, the cameras are just going to bring more guards. They're not going to immediately catch me. So it's not like we're doomed. We're just in a bit of a pickle here. Also, I didn't uh, paralyze this guy yet, so he's still going to be able to get back up again in another turn after this. But if we book it out of here, they might not be able to get us fast enough, so it might be okay. If we end turn here, the cameras are going to detect us. On the start of our turn. There we go. Three cameras got us. Ooh, that's a lot of bonus. Holy cow. Oh, wow. And a security guy joined us right here. That was real bad. I didn't realize quite how that works. That's nasty. All right. Well, let's quickly KO this guy. Stick him with a paralyzer. Then we close the door. There we go. Let's take a peek around the wall. Nobody's right there. Scoot around this way. Open the door. Oh, you're blocking the way now, though, Banks. If you stay there, we can't get Deckard through. Banks, no. All you needed was one more AP. That's awful. Alright, we're going to have to move you over one and move you back one. Because Deckard can get through here now. And you're going to have to come... You can't move diagonally back now? Wow, game. Wow. Alright, we're going to uh, break this then. Reduces agent's AP by two. Well, and never mind. You're going to stand there and probably get killed, Banks. That's real bad luck we just had there. Alright, because that guard's going to come out of this thing and immediately see you. I might be able to save you with Deckard, but I would not count on it. This is seriously bad. And it lasts for five turns. Are you insane? Wow. That is some serious awfulness. Alright, that guard didn't actually see us through some twist of fate. That's craziness. Okay, so we might, we might actually be able to get out of this alive. 
Let us loot the safe. Corporate intelligence. I don't know if that's really worth bringing along. It'll give us some bonus, uh, some bonuses, but whatever. We'll upgrade our inventory to max. It's going to help us in the long run anyway. And then we need to get out of Dodge. So we're going to get you over here. We know there's guards coming. You're going to close this door. They don't know where we actually are, though. So while we have kind of flubbed this map from a strategic, uh, always stay hidden standpoint, they still don't actually know anything really about us. So overall, we're doing okay. They're trying to find us, but they haven't yet. Definitely playing it riskier, this map, though, because these guys are going to come looking, but they don't know where we've gone. All they know is we were last spotted here. And we've gotten everything we came for, really. We don't have the power to get through any of these other systems, not that they're even that relevant. We've got all the safes on the map, as far as I can tell. Yeah, there might be something else in this room, but I doubt it. We've gotten pretty much all the valuables. Yeah, those are just console databases. There's some super tough cameras. Yeah, overall, I think we did okay here, despite the fact that this mission was a bit of a shambles. Let's zoom back in. Let's get you into here, Banks. And Deckard as well. You're getting out of here alive, guys. You did it. It was a bit of a mess, but you made it out. The greed was real in this episode, though. <laughs> just about got myself in some real trouble. All right. So that gets us a good number of credits, especially from the client invoice. We get an extra bonus reputation. We get extra money. I believe this is actually what Microslam lets us get, the, mic the map ex exploration cash bonus. But uh, overall, that was not bad. Could have been much worse, in fact. I was lucky that all the guards were way far away investigating those corpses that we left behind. They were probably investigating the server room, so that when the alarms all detected us over here, they couldn't immediately rush back to us, and that we were really lucky as well that this guy came out and saw the body and stopped and didn't come out and look any further, because he could have seen Banks there. That was real luck right there. Okay. Monster wants to sell us a Volt Disruptor Mark II. That might be something worth getting for us, because that'll be a way for us to deal with armored guards, which we still can't really do. That might be worth it. We will see, though. We'll come back and take a look at that again in a second. So, we don't have a whole lot of options for where to go next. If we go to uh, this vault here, we might get a chance to do another mission. I'm not quite sure how this timer works. Anywhere else is going to be too far away and is going to cause the uh, the timer to run out. Atanan Arivo. Interesting. Well, we played life dangerously there and came out alive. So, we're going to have to end this episode here for now, though, folks. Thank you very much for watching. This has been Vanguard of Valor, playing some Invisible Ink. And uh, I look forward to seeing you guys next time. Until then, bye bye Two hundred and ten credits, nice reward there. Yeah, we don't want the pass cards, we don't need them. Alright, we're going to come over here and grab more power. This will set us back up to 17. Might not be worth getting this one yet, but we're going to hack this stuff, so we might as well. Hack the nanofabricator. Hope for good luck here hacking the demon. New demons installed. Huh. I don't know what that one does. There's still a scanner somewhere on this map that we're going to want to find. This will get us another 4 power. What's in here? Ooh, more safes? This actually looks like a fairly interesting room. A lot of servers in there. That might be where we need to go. There is another demon there, so I'm guessing that uh, demon we activated planted a bunch more on the map. So that's not great for us. That's going to really make things a bit trickier to get around to. Can't move this guy at all? Alright, fair enough. And we'll end our turn here. Let's see how this goes now that there's demons everywhere. Alright, we should be visible again this turn, yep. Okay, well we've taken a peek through there. We need to take a look at a bunch of these rooms. Just to make sure we can try and find that scanner as quickly as possible. There's a camera and there's the exit. So that's good to know. There's another doorway over here. 
So that's all well and good. We want to make sure we check what's in the safe here. There's another doorway there as well. 400 credits. We want to always be back to mission selection. And we're going to take on the Santa Rosa server farm mission. Oh boy. Heavily guarded. Here goes nothing. So, let's start this mission and see what happens. I could be wrong as well. We may not actually have to buy our mission, our, our upgrades from the server farm, but I think you do. Alright, here we are to start with. Only one exit from this room, so we might as well send Banks to go investigate, and we'll get Deckard to grab us the power from the machine, because he's good at that. Four powers, a good start. What do you see through the doorway? Not much, but there's immediately a guard out here, so we're going to be limited to begin with. Okay. Let's pop the door open. Peek again. Still nothing in line of sight. The guard is over here from the looks of it, though. Okay, well, let's hack this immediately. We may as well. And we're going to have to hang out here for a minute and see if this guy moves, because it doesn't do us any good to rush out immediately into enemy line of sight. Guards on the other side of this door away from the sounds of it as well. That guard has no intention of moving, which is going to be a problem. Can I rush that far? Yes. So, we're going to start by using our invisibility boost. Activate cloaking rig. There we go. Let's get right over next to this guy. Hello there, good sir. I'm afraid you have got yourself in a bit of a pickle, haven't you? There we go. Knock him out of the picture. Let's loot from him. Hello everyone, Vanguard of Valor here, and welcome back to another episode of Invisible Ink. So, we now have a pretty big goal in mind, we only have 17 hours left before whatever is happening in the story comes to a close, but I think our next target is going to be the Santa Rosa server farm. This is going to allow us to acquire more technology, but unfortunately we probably won't be able to buy much of it because we have very few credits on hand. As such, we're going to sell these charge packs before we go. Not that I think they're going to be worth a whole lot to us. But that extra 200 might make the difference between us being able to buy new cool hacking solutions and us not being able to. So let's log out here. No, not log out. Go 